Well, the Greeks themselves would have thought about the answer to this question. So um, the Athenians, for example, who claimed to be the people who had really led the Greeks to victory in the Persian Wars would say that it was only because they had managed to defeat the Persians at the Battle of Marathon in 490 BCE, uh, exactly 2,500 years ago, by the way. This is the 20. 500th anniversary of the Battle of Marathon. Um, the, at Mar the, the Athenians would have said if they hadn't won the Battle of Marathon, then the Persians would have over, overrun Greece, and, 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 and that's you know, where it is. The rest of the Greeks would say, well, if the Athenians had not antagonized the Persians, uh, the Persians would never have inv invaded Greece in the first place, so the Athenians were at fault. Um, but then the historian Herodotus would say, well, if uh, the Persians were bound to try to absorb the Greek, empire, the, the Greek cities uh, at some point, so um, it really the Athenians were the only thing standing between the Persians and an utter oblivion. And in fact, uh, when the Persians returned a decade after the Battle of Marathon, it was very clear that a much more united Greek endeavor was needed in order to repel them. And so the Spartans were finally persuaded to involve themselves in this, as were a number of other Greek city-states. But even then, the Greeks weren't fighting as a united Greek force. They were fighting, uh, they weren't fighting as Hellenes, which was the name the Greeks gave themselves. They were fighting as individual city-states, as Thebans, as Athenians, um, as, uh, as, as Spartans. Um, so that even in victory against the Persians, they were divided. And after the Persians went home, um, the Greek city-states uh, pursued their own interests. And Athens, for example, pursued its interests in becoming essentially an imperial power. It now had this tremendous navy that it had developed in order to fight the Persians. And it decided to use this navy to colonize other areas of the world and also to um, uh, force other Greek city-states who had established colonies around the Mediterranean to pay it protection money, essentially, to, to uh, for the, the Athenians what really wanted to see themselves as the police police force of the ancient world. And there were a lot of Greeks who, who felt that this was inappropriate. The, why did they fight the Persians and avoid becoming absorbed into that empire only to become subject to the Athenian commercial empire? So uh, these tentative alliances began to fall apart. And so what you see emerging is the, the um, the, the set of alliances that we see at the, in the Peloponnesian Wars, which began in 431. We essentially see the Athenians and her allies, who have something to gain from Athenian naval power. And we see the Spartans and her al their allies, who uh, resist the Athenian dominance of their world. Um, and it's, it's a very sad story. It's, it's a story that is almost worthy of a Greek tragedy, this, this, this capacity of a group of people to come together and then their incapacity to, to hold on to that common endeavor.